All right then, the 2021 MT-09. In this video I will give you reasons why you should buy it and reasons why you shouldn't buy it. If you're interested in this bike, you should definitely watch this video. I'm gonna start with the bad and I'll end up with the good. Let's start with the first reason why you shouldn't buy this motorcycle. The consumption, fuel consumption. <laughs> it's so inefficient, you need to like refill every 150 kilometers. If you think about efficiency, this bike isn't is not about, nothing about that. Well, the first bad thing is the fuel consumption. The second bad thing, why I shouldn't buy this bike, is the wind protection on the highway. If you will do a lot of commuting like this, then this bike isn't for you. Because after around 120 kilometers, the wind gets very disturbing. It gives you a lot of disturbance. It's very hard to hang on to this bike then. And that gives it a very uncomfortable driving experience. And another thing why I wouldn't buy this bike is, I know it's subjective, but it still looks, it doesn't look good in my opinion. The previous MT-09 from the 2017 model, that one looked very good. This one looks a bit off, it looks like it's from another planet. But I think that was Yamaha's purpose. Well, they uh, did a great job with that. So the looks aren't, yeah, I'm not uh, very fond of the looks. And something else that they could have done a little bit better is this, this instrument cluster may look modern and give you a lot of information but the, the numbers are pretty small and you have to look more than one time. get off the highway and show you one more thing why I think you shouldn't get this motorcycle well the last thing I I don't like about this motorcycle is the connection between the handlebars and the front wheel it doesn't feel very connected it, it gives you a sense of disconnection and when you're doing sharp cornering for example on a very sporty bit of road or on a track it isn't very confidence inspiring yeah, it's all oh, it's always feels like the front tire is floating Okay, when you step on the throttle, of course, then it's normal because the front wheel get, comes up. But even if you don't do that, and you take just a regular corner, it feels like this front tire is floating. And that, yeah, that doesn't give you enough confidence to really attack corners. Now let's talk about things why you should buy this motorcycle. Well, unlike the predecessor, it now has quick shifting for up and down.
that's a very nice feature to have you to and the suspension the previous model had a more softer suspension this one without being the SP model the suspension is a lot firmer on this one but it, it isn't that firm that it's uncomfortable so to, they really stepped their game up with the suspension it's very tight and it's it's just it just wants to get thrown from side to side really the handling got a lot better it's very it's a lot more direct now the previous model was also very flickable and agile but this one is just a lot more tight And if we talk about the engine, this awesome and famous inline three, and in this form it has 889cc capacity, and it produces 117 horsepower from 10,000 RPM, and an astonishing 93 newton meters of torque from 7,000 RPM. The amount of the low end power is amazing, but the mid range power touches ridiculously good. Here, the front wheel came up there in the mid range around around four or five thousand RPM. This thing becomes like a crazy bull, and you're trying to grab on it for your life. It's yeah. It makes it really exciting and it makes it a real ruling motorcycle. It's like it goes out of control and it makes it really enjoyable to drive. And that's why this thing is very popular. And that's why I think I believe this one will stay very popular. Even though the weird front end look, it will still stay very popular. And because it's a inline three, the top end power is of course very, very good. It's very uh, impressive, but it isn't like an inline four that is very dramatic and just keeps on pulling and pulling. In the top end, it bogs down a little, little bit, but it doesn't feel at home at the, at, the, uh, at the top end. You just have to enjoy the bottom end and especially the mid-range power of this thing. The MT-09, MT stands for Master of Torque, they of course continued their title and they held their ground on that title, it's really amazing. And it only weighs 190 kilograms wet with a torque of 93 Newton meters, that's, that's a lot of torque for such a light bike. All the things I like about it, I mean, besides from the front end, the rest of the bike looks pretty good. This white tank really gives a muscular, muscular look. And the instrument cluster, it may look a bit, the uh, dials, the numbers may look a bit small, but they can give, they give a lot of information. You can change a lot of things like, you can see your, you have a, a fuel gauge, engine temperature, outside temperature, fuel consumption I mean I really like it the amount of information this little display gives you however this swivel feel swivel wheel does feel a bit yeah cheap and plasticky 
and the rest of the bike is also has also that problem everything feels a bit yeah made out of cheap materials unfortunately but I guess they do that to keep the price down so understandable but this is you have of course driving modes we're now in the faster driving mode one and the traction control mode one as well but you have also M mode for the traction control then the traction control is completely off it's very uh, for beginners definitely not a good beginner bike because it's very untamed it, it can become very untamed quick up and down shifts very nice you do you almost don't f have to use the clutch no it's absolutely still an amazing bike brakes they are, are good but nothing to brag about You see, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble with the amount of torque this thing has. Wait, I have to stop to ch change the driving mode? Yep, it is. We have put the ESP off completely. front end it's, it's, it's like the front tire doesn't exist it's just keeps on floating when you're accelerating hard that's okay but when you you try to take sharp corners it's not okay but it's still very nimble agile very flickable seating position is pretty good However, the seat is a little bit firm if, you, if you're on it for long distances, but if it's just, just to be the hooligan around here, eh, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, I'm starting to a little bit sympathize this design, just a little bit, not too much. I mean, it definitely is an eye catcher, even though it's a bit ugly. But the thing I just can't understand is, what the hell is this? Come on, man, just hide this thing. It looks ridiculous, it's like it's broken off or something. It just misses a part here. Oh well. I mean, you can't have everything, right? And this engine sounds very good for a stock pipe. It's right there with a the big cat. Sounds gr very good. I personally like a motorcycle that gives you comfort on the highway. For long tours, for example. And most of the time, naked bikes aren't really made for that. I mean, if I had to choose, this, I love this drivetrain. Very torquey and very exciting. But my favorite of the MTO 9 line is the Tracer 9. That's the touring version of this motorcycle. So if I would happen to get this powertrain from Yamaha, I would get it in the Tracer alternative. Then it would be just perfect. The build quality may not be absolutely amazing, but still it's good enough. But if you if you like doing hooligan stuff, you like coming out with wheelies and do wheelies all the time and you're in the city a lot and uh, you, you just use the low-end and mid-range 
power of this thing and you don't get on the highway that much this thing is absolutely perfect for you then the fuel the bad ridiculous fuel consumption doesn't bother you as well because you're staying you're staying in the uh, city well guys this was my review of the mt09 comment down below if you would want to get this motorcycle or another motorcycle in this class or price range don't forget to like the video subscribe and I'll see you in the next video take care and stay safe